again in three, two, one. Okay, now we're live on YouTube. And well, today I wanted to talk to you guys about the volcano of fire that erupted in Guatemala. It was um, it was very terrifying because like you can imagine like there were people that were recording what what they were looking at, and it was it was very scary, uh, especially because of how like you you could say they thought like it wasn't gonna get that close really quickly. It was just gonna be like there, and well, that's about it. And it's like, oh, wow, it's not moving that fast, but it was moving that fast. The second they turned around, they were covered in it. And it was, it was, just, it was just bad because, like, you could see all the, all the people that were just, like, um, let's say you had, like, family right there, right? You were, you were right next to them, and you're like, okay, we're, we're just going to get to the car and we'll be safe, right? You were not safe in the car. The car was not a safe place, uh, space to be in. Especially because like it was it was really really hard because of all that stuff that was going on. Um, so here's what I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so the reason why the lava there doesn't look like lava that we'd actually see everywhere else is because well the lava is um, quite um, you know it's a mixture of water and lava. It's, so that's why it came, came down even faster than, than in Hawaii or other parts because the mixture of water and lava kind of just flows together and just like spits out and then gushes all around. And it's just like scary because like all of that stuff just happened in a mere few seconds for a bunch of people and like they just lost the people that were closest to them. And well, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm here on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. So, hi, guys. Nice, nice to see you. Uh, we're talking about uh, the fire volcano, uh, translation in Spanish, El Volcán de, de Fuego. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Um, well, right now, to be honest, I, I don't live in Guatemala. If uh, there are people there who don't know where I actually am located in this world, um, um, well, I'm here living in Las Vegas, but like it still reached me because I mean, I had family. And it, I, I told one of my best friends, Hunter, I want to send him a shout out because he, he's awesome. He's a drawer. He, he's like a major painter. He's like, this guy is my friend since what, seventh grade, seventh, eighth grade. Damn, yeah. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, well, what we heard about all this stuff that was going on was, well, as of what happened, there was like 114 people that died right there, 5,000 that were evacuated, and 2 million that were affected by all that damage that was caused by the, the lava. I mean, it doesn't even... The lava has no, what's it called, it has no, it's not scared of grab, like going on to people and just like flooding them down or just like covering them up and, you know, just killing them. It, lava just has no feelings in that sort of sense if you get it. Um, well, I, I know I'm treating it as if it was a personified object, but really it, it's not. Um, and yeah, there were a bunch of people that lost a bunch of things that were important to them. So I was gonna tell you guys that I did a bunch of research about the whole thing that happened right there with the volcano and everything. Sorry, I accidentally kind of flipped my camera and so was taking video of the screen, but you know, um, things happen. Okay, so this happened like 10 days ago. It, the eruption it happened 10 days ago. Okay, so like what I see was what's going on is that, okay, so it's all like a puzzle. Like you, you can imagine that it's like you're, you're grabbing a piece of something and you're meshing it up to something else that kind of fits if you look at it. So, okay, first the volcano of fire, El Volcán de Fuego, as we know it, um, erupted. Then the... Then it started trembling, and well, there was uh, I forgot what how to say that, but it would start trembling over there in um, in Guatemala, and then after that, 
Like it went up to the other volcano that's in Guatemala. It's one of the largest volcanoes over there. It it started erupting, like a bunch of lava started spewing out of it, and like you can see where it's leading up to, literally see what it's leading up to. Um, if you grab a globe and you just look at it, you can, you can like just search for the the fire belts, the well, in Spanish, they call it El Cinturón de Fuego. In, in English, I think it was uh, the belt of fire or something like that. It's where all the origin of where the volcanoes are. You can, like, see where they're at. And that's where all they're resting. So you can imagine, like, okay, so if this volcano explodes. This volcano has to explode over here for some reason. Or it's just going to be connected somehow. Because, like, it, they're all kind of connected because of the uh, tectonic plates. All, yeah, Ring of Fire, that's what I was talking about. Sorry, it's like, yeah, like all that school just went through my brain. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, it's it's really uh, very saddening uh, to talk about because, I mean, it just happened so quickly. Um, yeah. And, well, to be exact, there are around 288 volcanoes, well, Small, so, some of them are small, some of them are big, but there's like 288 uh, structures of origin of volcanoes, uh, volcanic volcanic origin, and eight are reported to be active, while three are most active, and 37 um, are known as volcanoes. So you can imagine we're kind of like, like, you know how we live here in Las Vegas, like, all those volcanoes are just like, uh, well, not the volcanoes, sorry, the mountains, mountains. You know how we're surrounded by mountains and like, this is almost like the safest place to be, but really it kind of isn't, you know, because of sun, you know, can cancer and stuff. But, um, but I mean, we're, we're kind of safe because of the mountains, but over there, imagine we, we, here we're covered in like literally mountains. Over there, they're covered literally in volcanoes. That's just like the opposite, opposite of being safe. But to be exact, not all of them are like active. I mean, if they were all active at the same time, that would be a, a catastrophe. That would be like um, the world just went kaboom. Yeah. Um, I was also researching and they said that imagine just like those volcanoes right there, See what was going on with those volcanoes right there. Uh, well, the volcano, uh, the fire volcano right there, it was um, it was like getting three different atomic bombs at the same time. It was like, and then it started erupting. Yeah, that was that was really scary. And yeah, a bunch of people lost their jobs, lost their what their their lives because I mean probably they had stuff that they like to do and they just like left it. And like, there were people that you can imagine they were probably at the grocery store and they realized, Oh my God, the volcano is coming down. It's going to spew. And well, that was just, that was just wrong. And well, right now out of calculations that I did earlier throughout the day, um, I found out that, okay, there are 114 people that are dead. 5,000 evacuated, 2 million that are affected, and 400 houses that were were submerged under all that lava and um, ashes. And there are 30, fa uh, 30 million families that lost, you know, what they used to start farming uh, or like their, their animals, the, the food that they used to feed the other people around there, like, that just was, that's horrible. So let's say, cause like there was a calculation to see how many people were actually living right there in what we call um, the skirts or the outskirts. I, I think they'd be the outskirts of uh, the, vo uh, the volcano. There's like 9,500 people li living there. 5,000 5, were evacuated. So that leaves us with 4,500 people left. Okay, 114 out of those 4,500 people left died. So we're missing 4,300 people. And people aren't, like, they're saying, okay, we're just looking for the people that are being called there. Or, like, you know, they were lost. They were lost in all that 
all those ashes, all that, all the, the have a volcanic eruption, and well, yeah, that that's just that's just bad, and especially because like imagine the lava like over there is not like in other places. It's like you have a mix of water and lava gushing out at the same time. It's just like it flows faster than anything else because of how the the lava grabs the materials and kind of absorbs them, then of course the water is going to help it like move even faster, especially because, um, well, my country, uh, Guatemala, has a few, um, well, well, actually, no. Um, the climate over there is kind of like the savanna, you know, how it's, uh, or more like tropical, like, because of how like there's like the moisture in the air and especially because it rains the whole time. And I swear it rains. No, 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 we're in this campaign. But I'm just saying, cause like, this is just, ah, I mean, I mean, we, we can't treat these things like their, their old stories. Cause I mean, it just, it probably just already happened 10 days, but people are already treating it as an old story. Like, oh, wow, that, that happened, so what? I mean, I mean, they're not like exactly like that, but I mean, like, they're, they're saying, yeah, sure, it, it happened. I mean, it, it's just horrible how, to think about it. It's like a desensitized form of looking at things. So, like, what, what are people going to gonna eat? What what are they where are they gonna live? They lost all their houses, they lost their jobs, they lost their clothes. Well, clothes is already backed up by the by the Guatemalan Red Cross. So all we have left is just to help them out, like somehow, like I don't know, economically, because I mean, it's not like we we're gonna know exactly what they need. So it's better to like just try giving out some sort of help. I don't know. Uh, for example, if you look at money here, like what um, certain, okay, so I could say money over there here is more like transferring here to euros in Euro Europe. Because Europe, uh, European euros are most, uh, what's it called? Um, you know, they're, they're most, they have more value, I guess. And well, over here, um, our money to them it might be less value. Um, but over there, of course, I mean, remember how we went up kind of in the economic uh, economy? Um, well, now uh, imagine a Mexican dollar um, pesos, or like um, you have to have like 20 pesos to make a dollar, I think, or I'm not sure. Um, but I got to check that out. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what it is later. But, like, I mean, if it's so bad, I mean, it's not like it's not like it's 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 going to be that much money that people might give out to, to them. But I'm saying, like, if you're going to donate money to, to help that cause, you, you donate it to the legitimate source. Uh, by legitimate, I mean the Red Cross. Because they're the people that are helping out all those people that are, that were stuck uh, or people that kind of survived through that. Some of them survived, some of them with injuries, some people died. You, you already heard me speak at the be beginning of the video. But I mean, that's just, that's just off. And well, also wanted to, wanted to mention how, how, what's it called? Um, there's so many things going on that, like, I mean, it's kind of similar to other places, like, for example, Pompeii, if you remember Pompeii, um, I read one time a document about it, I think it was on a test or something, but they were talking about how Pompeii, the people were, like, they were trapped and all that, all that, uh, all those ashes, and, well, after being trapped in all those ashes, they were not decomposed and like you could not see what they look like they were actually kind of like frozen in time and you could actually see what the corpses look like and people actually were able to grab two uh well subjects 
all people, which sounds horrid if you say subjects, but they grab people and they actually look them like grab their their you know their the skulls and saw what was going on their like everything else just kind of just boiled up and was lost in time and like their their structure was of course it was like there but like of course their their skin's gonna melt away and everything else but they were more most likely preserved and all that stuff yeah and well not only that, but like, be careful, people, uh, my people that are living there. I mean, I know you may be attached emotionally, or however, to where you where you're living and uh, the outskirts of of the volcano. But I mean, your lives are more val. They have more value than losing them because of like because of trying to like get something, I don't know, or clock or, or I don't know, like uh, plates. I mean, right there right now, it's, it's really bad. The authorities are pretty much not letting people go through because of how the toxicity in the air could actually kill people just like by breathing it in. And yeah, and well, what I was saying about how, how it was like kind of similar to other things, was that, um, okay, so if you're closer to the volcano, a little closer, right? Let's say, like, uh, um, the people right there were, were just kind of, just not, just not, uh, what, what was it called? They, they, oh, I lost my train of thought. Sorry, I'm trying to talk to someone. Um, yeah, so in Colombia in 1985, there was a volcano that, well, people were, sa uh, were saved because, like, they, they knew how to get out of that problem right there. But what's it called? Well, what killed 20,000 people was the fact that, um, what's it called? They did not get rid of, uh, the what's it called the ashes and the ashes kind of mixed with the water and the water kind of plugged into to that stuff and became huge which also kind of turned into like waves that kind of took down people and killed them and that was just just part of it all uh no i'm yeah uh well i'm done with what i had to say just that um Sí, es que iba a hacer el video eh, en inglés para que mis, tam, también las personas entendieran en inglés, perdón si no entienden qué es lo que estoy diciendo. Um, estoy afirmando lo mismo que había dicho en el video anterior acerca de lo que pasó en el volcán. Si quieren más información acerca del video uh, anterior, vayan por favor a YouTube, a Facebook. Ahí tengo los otros videos cuando estoy hablando en español. Estoy hablando casi por una hora. Um, Pero aquí es una explicación basada en lo que he aprendido, todas las cosas, las reglas, la, las cosas que he aprendido uh, acerca de los volcanos uh, y así pues. Y pues, uh, perdón si, si no entendieron, ahí está el otro video. Uh, well, I just wanted to say, I just wanted to do one version in English and one version in Spanish because, I mean, you guys might not understand it. And if I speak Spanish, like, there are going to be people that don't understand don't understand Spanish. There are going to be people that don't understand English. If I speak French, you guys are not going to understand it for definite. But unless you, you studied it. Uh, well, either way, thank you guys. I hope you have a great time. Uh, I I don't want you to guys to think uh, kind of horribly about this, but it's kind of sad how like old stuff turns into old news and it's just sad. Um, also, as always, a legitimate source is uh, Cruz Roja or the Red Cross, uh, Red Cross of Guatemala. Go over there if you want to give your donations. Uh, do what you can, not not what you what you're trying so hard to do. Just just do what you can from your heart. Um, I love you guys. Be safe. Take care. Uh, I was not trying to make any sort of campaign. Uh, I don't know who said that. I'm not really interested.
this is Jax, join, what up, Nick, Nicky boy, <laughs> what's up, what's up, hi, how you doing, Ian, Kursanada, Arceli, Kelly, join, you waved at Arceli, hi, Arceli, Arceli, ring of fire, yeah, yeah, <laughs> sorry, balconeando las estrellas, hi guys, Julie Mendoza, how you guys doing, balconeando, Araceli, said, are you going to start like a word? No. Neymarides, 11, join. You waved at Neymarides, 11, join. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Saying hi, and sadly, in a few seconds, I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, well, goodbye, people. I love you. I'm going to kind of read a few messages. Uh, were the were the volcanoes tripping? Yes, they were. Sky of truth. Yes, they were. They were tripping like hell. Um, yeah, it was like an inferno that people lived over there. It was natural inferno of nature. Luis Ruiz Union. Nice guys. Nice to see you. And Minisa uh, Compositora. Hi guys. Linda Lemos. I was literally gonna start bawling when I just like there was this man that like. He was trying to look for his his wife. He could not find her. And he's like, I'm not giving up till I find her. If When I find her corpse, uh, I'm going to know she's dead. But no, I'm not giving up. I don't think she's dead. I must keep on looking till I find her. And there were other people right there, too, that, like, there was this guy that he tried saving his sister, but he couldn't because he couldn't find her. And what he had left was was his dog, and so he saved his dog from from all that stuff that was going on right there. And he was trying to to try and help other people, but he he couldn't. And so he's like, "This is the only life I have left. This is like my only family left. I got no one else." So he was carrying his dog like he was like with an embrace. And he's like, "Oh my God, this is all I have left." Yeah, well, thanks, guys. See you later. Love you. Finalista.